In this demonstration, I will show you how to find a Java program online and uh, how you can get it to run on your own machine under Eclipse. So if you go to Java Tutorials uh, or uh, if you just search for Java Tutorials, you will come across a lot of examples, a lot of websites that have um, tons of examples. And uh, I'm just going to pick one of these things. Um, let's go into the Tutorials Point website. And um, I'm going to find a little program here. So I'm going to look under Basic Syntax. And um, so this is a Hello World program. This is a little bit too trivial. So let's try to find something a little bit more advanced. So um, here we have um, a Java program. Now you may not know any of these things that are inside uh, but that's okay we can still get it to run so once you get it to run you can um, change things and learn from it so before you copy and paste anything you need to go into um, your Eclipse and have a good look at it so on the left hand side you should have the package explorer now if you don't have this window what you do is you go to window show view and say package explorer or project explorer either is fine um, by default it's a package explorer but project explorer is fine so every project should be uh, or every program should be in its own project so to add a new project uh, because we're adding a new program uh, we can say new project like that and then from that you can choose um, java and java project your menu structure might be a little bit different. You might be able to choose add new Java project straight away. Uh, doesn't matter which way you go as long as you choose Java project. Now some people um, accidentally choose um, other types of things. Uh, there is one called JPA project and you don't want that. So make sure it's Java project. Read those labels and things carefully. Okay, so the name of the project can be anything. Uh, but it's good to name these things based on um, something, uh, so, some relevant name, uh, some name that's relevant to the program. So I'm going to call this um, TP example or tutorial point example one. And I'm just going to say finish here. And that's that. So every Java uh, project um, needs to have a class or every Java program needs to have a class. So we need to add a class into this uh, where we can write our code. So uh, without adding a class, we really don't have a program. We just have a project to which we can add a program, uh, but um, we need the class created. So I, I right clicked or I context clicked on the project uh, into which I want to add the class. And I will say new class. So when I say new class, if you have done a hello world program, which I assume that you have done already, you would have written something like um, hello world like that. And then you would have ticked this one and added the hello world um, print statement uh, later on. But when you are doing this through, uh, when you are trying to take an existing program into Eclipse, you don't do any of these things. So you don't use that same name. The name uh, is really not up to you, uh, the name for the class, that is. So uh, what is this name? So this name has to be exactly the name that contains, uh, it, it should be the name of the class that contains this public static void main string args. So we can see there are two classes here, class fresh juice test, uh, class fresh juice. Um, you can ignore the fact that this is called public class, but uh, there's a special type of class which you don't need to worry about right now. But the one that contains the main method or this public static void main, um, that's the class that we are interested in. So fresh juice test, I have selected that, or I have highlighted that, I will copy it and I'll go back to my Eclipse and that's what I'm going to paste. So even if this is off by um, a simple lowercase j or some little thing like that it can cause problems we definitely want to stick to that same name uh, for compatibility so that's pretty much it and then uh, you can say finish 
and then you have this thing so this is quite you can see that this is quite similar to this line and this line so that's perfect that's exactly what we want so after that the 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 quick and dirty way to get this program to run is to just um, copy this whole thing over okay so I'm going to press Control C and um, I have to erase everything that's there I don't need that code because it's already there in this one um, and I just pasted that so I can press Control Shift F to format it or I can get go to source and click format and then it'll stick to the formatting um, that I have set up in um, Eclipse and then when I want to run it I will just press play and then I can get it to run so that's the output from this program if you had any other outputs it'll go away and um, the new programs output will be generated so there are different ways of um, adding classes and things like that into um, Eclipse so this um, class up here can be um, added into a separate entry or a separate Java file um, called freshjuice.java but if you just want to get something to run just to play around with it and you don't want to do all these other setting up this is the quickest way to, to uh, quickest way to do it and that's the purpose of this demonstration